Construction of Complex Gamma at SACTO is now over 75% complete. Complex Gamma will be used to static test S4B auxiliary propulsion modules. The complex is scheduled for completion next quarter. At the Douglas Huntington Beach facility, the liquid oxygen tank assembly for the S4B hydrostatic test stage was installed in assembly tower number one this quarter. The tank assembly had been fabricated at Douglas, Santa Monica. After movement of the hydrostatic test stage liquid hydrogen tank into the tower, welding of the tank to the LOX tank was accomplished and the forward dome was welded on. Later, the entire propellant tank was moved to assembly tower number two, where machining of skirt attach angles will take place. Next quarter, the stage will be cleaned and hydrostatically tested. Assembly of the dynamic test stage was also begun this quarter at Huntington Beach. The LOX tank assembly received from Santa Monica was positioned in assembly tower number one. The liquid hydrogen tank for the dynamic test stage was positioned for welding as the quarter ended. The stage will be shipped to the Marshall Center in December 1964 for dynamic testing as part of the Saturn V vehicle. Propulsion system testing of the first F-1 production engine built by Rocketdyne began at the Marshall Center this quarter in the modified S-1 static test stand. A total of 14 static firings was conducted for a total main stage time of 403 seconds. The longest firing was for 122 seconds. About 175 engine and facility performance measurements were recorded during each test. The firings will continue next quarter. At Marshall's F-1 engine test stand, erection of steel superstructure has been completed and the 100-ton derrick has been installed. Siding installation on the elevator tower is in progress. The deflector is complete except for minor welding and painting. Technical systems and utilities installation is continuing. The preparation building has been completed and occupied. At Edwards rocket site in California, a fully operational heat exchanger was installed in F1 engine 014 this quarter for testing. of successful system tests of production engine number two were held during the report period in test stand 1B1. At Rocketdyne's new manufacturing building number three at Canoga Park, F1 engine assembly and checkout are now being carried on full time. Facilities here allow for building four engines simultaneously. Modifications to the water high flow test facility to increase its capacity were performed this quarter with piles being driven down to 65 feet to anchor the test run piping. The increased capacity will make it possible to obtain flow information on F1 injectors and components at closer to normal operating conditions than previously. static firing tests of the J2 engine were continued by Rocketdyne at its Santa Susana test area during the report period. The Delta 2A position was activated in December. In Rocketdyne Structures Lab at Canoga Park, a hydraulic gimbal test machine has been placed in use to test the J2 engine gimbal bearing assembly in cycling operations. Testing of the J2 thrust chamber assembly determines thrust chamber and component deflection under given load conditions. In Rocketdyne's vertical alignment stand, the thrust alignment of the J2 thrust chamber is determined through a series of optical and circumferential measuring guides. The geometric center of the chamber is located so as to be coincident with the center of the engine gimbal block. At the Marshall Space Flight Center, 
Construction of the Saturn V dynamic test stand continued this quarter with tower steel erection having reached the ninth or 216 foot level. Excavation for tunnel B has been completed and forming for pouring the tunnel floor is in process. The brick and mortar portion of the fan room in tunnel A has been finished. Miscellaneous work about the stand and termination building is continuing. Blockhouse excavation for Marshall's Saturn V ground support equipment test facility was completed this quarter. Test area and roadway grading are continuing. Construction progressed this quarter on Marshall's new load test facility, a 30 million pound capacity test tower capable of testing S1C stages. The tower is now up to its full height of 140 feet and work is underway on the 155 foot tall hangar type building which will house it. At Marshall's Mississippi test facility, construction moved ahead steadily at the three main complexes and on the roads and waterways serving them. The construction dock at MTF has been completed. And the cryogenics dock is now over 50% finished. At the support services complex, construction progressed on the warehouse, site maintenance building, emergency services building, central heating plant, 115,000 volt electrical substation, and telephone and communications building. At the laboratory and engineering complex, work is underway on the lab and engineering building, which will serve as Mississippi Test Operations headquarters. And at the test complex, work continued on the S1C test area and the S2 test area.